is the probability of rolling a die that's less than four, given that the value is an odd number? Okay, so less, the ones that are less than four are one, two, and three, which is one half of them. The ones that are odd are one, three, and five, which is one half of them. And the ones that are the same are one and three, and the ones that are different are two and five. So you would divide one third, which is like the intersection of them, by one half, and you'd get two thirds. So Haley's two favorite restaurants are Taco Bell and Panera. She goes to Taco Bell every Tuesday and Panera every other Tuesday. What is the probability that Haley goes to Panera, given so that she went to Taco Bell? So since Haley goes to Taco Bell every week, it's going to be B, so it's 1. And then she goes to Panera every other week, so it's 0 0.5. 0 0.5 divided by 1 is 0 0.5, so there's a 50% chance that she's going to go to Panera and Taco Bell. This type of table is called a two-way table, and it is often used to organize information and calculate probabilities. What is the probability of a student being on student council at EHS? So the, the probability of a student being on student council is 6, and then 34, so you add those, and that's 40. So there's 40 out of 240. Two events. A and B are independent. If knowing that event B occurred does not change the probability of event A occurring. That is, two events, A and B, are independent if P, A given B, equals P of A. Are the events on student council and eat at cafeteria independent? Why or why not? The events are independent because you just divide by one. So. Two events are mutually exclusive or disjoint if they cannot both occur at the same time. That is, two events are mutually exclusive if P of A and B equals zero. Are the events on student council and eat at cafeteria mutually exclusive? Why or why not? They are mutually exclusive because the chance of A and B happening is zero. <laughs> 